What's up everyone? Welcome to Apex Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and uh, welcome to the part two of the After Effects CC 2019 basic training series. And uh, in this video we'll be talking about masking inside of After Effects, which is uh, really important and it, it, it is kind of a like a, uh, once you start, I mean it's kind of the basic thing, but uh, you can get pretty advanced with it. So. Uh, the thing that we'll be talking about like how we can use simple masking to create some like simple visual effects and maybe uh, later we'll go to uh, kind of a bit of an advanced term which is uh, rotoscoping I know this example is silly but uh, the thing is uh, uh, the idea that you're gonna get okay so before we get into these two shots I would like to give you a brief overview of what masking is uh, and how to use it. So I'll go to composition, new composition, I'll name it maybe masking and you can change the settings and the size to whatever you want and click OK. Uh, so in order to mask something or a layer, first you need to have something, a layer, a solid, uh, an image, a video, anything. But if you don't have anything and you use these uh, mask tools, maybe the star or uh, I'll get into these, if you use maybe the star layer, it will basically create a shape layer which uh, which are completely different things uh, we're gonna uh, talk about them later but in order to mask something uh, you have to create new solid so we'll create new solid for now and we'll name uh, maybe we'll color it blue and uh, once the layer is selected make sure the layer is selected you can use these uh, mask tools maybe the uh, rectangle tool I can use it or control Z I can use the rounded rectangle which is uh, the same thing the uh, uh, corners are a bit round and if you want to change the roundness of the corners uh, while holding down the click and not letting it go you can just press the up arrow key and it will increase the roundness of the mask and the down arrow key will decrease it you can also do the same thing with the wheel of the mouse at the same time that you're holding the lift mouse click so that's that and uh, obviously these are pretty self-explanatory so I don't have to uh, explain them uh, the one thing is this polygon tool which uh, you can draw polygon and the same thing goes if you want to increase the sides you can just hit the upper arrow key and the lower arrow key will just uh, decrease the sides so that's it so for now I'm gonna uh, go to the ellipse tool and if you want to make it perfect circle uh, otherwise it can go all the way and be squashy or something but if you hold alt control alt shift you can create a circle right from the center and it will be a perfect circle so that's it and if you go to the mask uh, if you go to the layer properties there's this mask and you can uh, every mask that you create has basically the same options the same four very important options so I'm gonna uh, delete the mask too for now uh, first there is this add if you if I just create new uh, maybe star tool on top of this and I'll just uh, you can take the move tool and move these masks around and if I want to subtract this star from the the circle I can just uh, select the mask and subtract it and you can see that it is subtracted and we've created the shape and you can move this at the same time to every place you want and you can create as many as you want and subtract them and there's some other modes also intersect intersect basically means that this area will be left and the uh, the rest will be gone and some other modes also and the same thing you have invert here maybe if you don't subtract it it's add you can invert it some like this or go to subtract uh, you can use it in different cases uh, and uh, let's get into these options <clears throat> so uh, we've talked about this uh, add in these options and here is the path which we can keyframe this so maybe if the mask is moving we can just like keyframe this and go to like uh, two seconds uh, once we get into these uh, uh, kind of like VFX examples I'm gonna this will be more clear but for now if you want to move the mask or animate the mask you can just use the mask path you have to keyframe this and I'll just delete these two keyframes there's the mask feather of course uh, very self-explanatory how soft this thing uh, you want to be mask opacity maybe you've created different masks maybe one here and one here 
and one here and maybe one more and you want them to be less opaque so you can just go uh, you can just hit if you want to see all the mask properties you can hit mm twice you can see all the properties I can just uh, bring this up a bit and uh, yeah we'll get uh, we can just turn on turn down the opacity a bit maybe like this or feather these other masks if you want to so maybe this much and the number two one also so I'll just uh, I'll just feather it a bit yeah so this is basically kind of like uh, you know playing around with different things I mean you can you can build any shape but if you know these uh, basic parameters you can just go go ahead and like use your imagination to build anything you want so these are basically like masking with uh, geometrical shapes but if you want to create a mask maybe uh, the way you like it if you use a Photoshop Illustrator or any of these Adobe programs you can use the pen tool also we have a pen tool here you can just select the pen tool you know create a shape and that will be masked and the spend tool is especially used in VFX I mean in visual effects in rotoscoping to mask like different anything I mean like persons like cars anything you can think of uh, in this shot uh, we use it to mask off the hand which will be taking a look in a few minutes but for now uh, this is the pen tool and here's the add vertex if you want to add a vertex somewhere maybe here 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 or if you want to delete some vertices you can just click it and delete some verts maybe the unnecessary ones maybe this one too and here is the convert point tool or the convert vertex tool so what this does it uh, see right now we have these uh, corner points which is basically like sharp corners but if you want to make them smooth you can just go ahead and like click and drag and make it smooth like a circle you can just go like this and you can change it back also so you can just click on it and it will be back to this uh, uh, sharp corner type edges and finally we have the feather tool which is pretty self-explanatory you can just uh, drag it and it will give it feather and uh, these uh, if you hit F it only brings up the feather option for the mask and if you want to see as you said before if you want to see all the properties of the mask you can hit MM twice M twice not MM twice M twice so M twice and this are the kind of the yeah these are all the main properties of the mask so uh, yeah there you go there was a very brief and uh, kind, of, kind of random I guess uh, explanation of uh, mask and like basics of mask so now we'll go with uh, the shot which is uh, really simple I don't know what have you thought but it's basically three shots uh, stuck on top of each other so if I go to the footage we have shot one I'm just gonna drag it into the new comp button and I'm gonna go to this uh, shot two and bring it on top again and shot three bring it on top so the way we shot this is basically the camera is set still on a tripod and uh, this is my good friend uh, Freedom Freddy which uh, as I'm sure you've noticed in a couple of videos uh, is uh, helping me out with uh, uh, taking these videos and uh, for the tutorials of course and uh, yeah so uh, I told him to you know uh, sit on this bench and like pretend to talking to this empty bench which kind of looks silly uh, but you know this is the effect and then I told him to sit in this and like basically pretend that you're talking with both of these guys so uh, the thing is that I can just take this part because the camera was still in the tripod and uh, you want to make sure that there is nothing like moving in the background like any person these trees are fine but no one is moving or anything the background should like yeah should be mostly clean and empty so I'm just gonna take the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna mask off this area and if you notice if I uh, move this you can see that I'm cutting a bit of this shot so what I can do is uh, I can do it with the pen tool if that is uh, too precise so I can just take the pen tool and like mask off this much this area only make sure to include these small shadow areas so I can just go close it 
and yeah here it is and I can take this shot and also mask it so I'm just gonna go maybe this much and uh, I'm gonna mask it and yeah so now you can see that we have three shots and here is a bit interfering with the other shots I'm just gonna bring it maybe this much and yeah here it is very simple very effective technique to create a simple kind of visual effects but still you know yeah so yeah here's how you create that effect make sure that the camera is still on the tripod nothing's moving otherwise it won't work okay so that's how you create this effect very simple using three simple masks and uh, the next shot uh, which is uh, rotoscoping I'm just gonna show you guys uh, like uh, I've basically masked off these portions of this layer if I turn on the mask you can turn it off and on by this uh, click right here if uh, I basically turned uh, masked off these areas if I solo this layer solo basically means that only that layer would be visible and the other layers would be hidden so I've just uh, masked these three uh, portions of this uh, bench and I've just subtracted them which basically means that they're transparent right now and if I go uh, put something in the background, which is this texture, if I go to the textures, and yeah, this is the texture. If I put it there, you can see that it's kind of looking like uh, it's in there. But that is not the point. The point is that uh, here his hand is kind of moving. I mean, in this here also, his hand is moving. Uh, to the back of the like the newly added texture because the mask is on top of course so what we should do is create another mask and mask of his hand which is basically called rotoscoping in professional term and we'll just rotoscope his hand moving throughout the uh, area and put it on top so that it looks like it is on top so what I'm gonna do is I'll take this shot control D or go to edit duplicate and I'll hit M and I'll delete all these masks that I've just previously had and I'm just gonna focus on this layer so I'll go back to the comp I'll focus on uh, his uh, hand so I'm just gonna take the pen tool and I will go to a frame maybe maybe here or maybe here and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to mask off this area of his hand So once I'm done with this, uh, I can just turn this to none so that I don't see the mask for now. And I'll turn it on once it's done. So uh, I can just adjust these points to our likings. But you can zoom in and make it like perfect. It's, uh, it's kind of a tedious job actually. One of the most boring tasks in, the, in, this, uh, in this field it's uh, rotoscoping uh, so the problem is this mask is here but his hand is moving so we need to animate the mask to follow the motion of the hand so what we can do is just go to the mask and we'll just as I said before we can just keyframe this mask path and go one frame forward by hitting page down page down will go one frame forward and page up will go one frame backwards so page down one frame basically frame by frame and double click on the mask to transform it and basically uh, take these points and adjust them so it's as I said very boring but yeah like sometimes you have no choice so if you want to uh, like if you're creating the effect you may as well make it look realistic so that's the only way so uh, I'll just mask this off and uh, adjust it according to the motion of the hand uh, and don't worry I'm not gonna let you guys sit here and watch me do this uh, boring thing so I'll just speed it up and I'll be back when it's done okay so we're done and uh, kind of I've cheated a little bit but the thing is now we have this uh, hand shot and if I just uh, set this back to additive you can see that it is looking terrible especially here but the, uh, the thing is we can just hit F and feather it a little bit you can go detail with this I mean 
normally we don't give that much feather but two pixels and it has motion blur so it doesn't you know so the thing is this mask from here it's showing so what i need to do is hit you again to see the keyframe zoom in and go back also and just uh you know adjust the mask accordingly so that we can see those extra parts and i'll go two more frames and just uh i don't know it's not even necessary because it's uh, out of the area of the table so so you can see that it's kind of like moving but it's not perfect but still you can put your time into it and you know but that is the basic idea you guys get it so yeah that is basically rotoscoping in a nutshell very brief very uh, ugly but uh, you can put your time into it and do it okay so that's it and uh, i'll make sure to put these uh, files in the description for this uh, tutorial so that you can download them and use them and practice them uh, practice with them of course and uh, yeah uh, this was the second video uh, in this uh, series i hope you learned something from it and last uh, if you haven't checked the previous tutorial which is the first one the basics uh, i highly recommend it uh, check it out and uh, check all of the tutorials uh, tell me what you think about them you know if you have any questions any problems just post them in the comment and i'll be more than glad to answer them and yeah, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and hit this bell icon to receive the notification every time I upload a new video. And yeah, this was the second video and uh, till the next one, enjoy working.